Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to resolve a Windows firewall error you might be receiving on your computer, specifically if you cannot actually turn on the firewall. So in my case, if I go to Action Center, I can see we're getting a security and maintenance alert saying to turn on the Windows firewall. And you would think just tapping on this would turn it on. However, we run into an issue saying security and maintenance can't turn on Windows firewall. So then you'd be prompted to turn on Windows Firewall manually. So let's just say we did that and we left click on this link here. And we left click on use recommended settings. We receive this error alert saying Windows Firewall can't change some of your settings. And then we get the error code 0x8007042. I believe this error code is a little bit different than the one you might be getting in Windows 7. And maybe Windows 8, I think the last three numbers might be a little bit different. So we're going to just left click on OK. But the solution to this error would be the same for all three operating systems. So I'm just going to actually minimize our Windows Firewall window here because we're going to come back to this in a minute. And we're going to head over to the Start menu and we're going to search up Services. It should be listed directly above Desktop App. So you want to left click on this. I'm going to expand the services window a little bit and then I'm going to click on the name tab up at the top just so we can search descending order in the alphabet and I want to select Windows Firewall which should be right here so the first thing we have to do is right click on the service and then left click on properties underneath startup type left click on this little drop down arrow and then select automatic left click on apply and OK and now also left click where it says start the service over here so left click on start so it should be on and now if we go back to our Windows firewall window we can see that it's been turned on however if it was not automatically done for you guys just click on use recommended settings again on this page and it should turn your firewall back on so I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.